Hi, it's Luang from Google Tech and today I'm going to talk about how we can make art decorations using the new features of Fusa Slicer 2.7. It's a beta version but you can download it from the GitHub link. Anyway, the feature's name is SVG Emboss. The great thing of this feature is that you don't have to create the art yourself because there's a lot of free SVG files online for you to download. All you have to do is choose the right one and put into the Prusa Slicer and make an art decoration for yourself or your friend and family because the holiday season is very close. So let's go make it. So these are the examples of things that I tried to make today. Uh, this one or the skull here. Um, I'm going to show you step by step. You can follow easily. First of all, you will need to um, download the SVG file that you like. Go to Google and look for Freeze SVG um, and choose the one you want and save it in your computer. Then we need to start the uh, Prusa Slicer, the version 2.7. Download from their GitHub and uh, I'm going to start a new one so that you can easily follow. So when you have this, you can add the frame for it, right? So I make the frame with a free card here. You can either use this frame like this. Uh, I put the link in the description so you can get it. So here. So this is the frame. Okay, if you don't like this frame or you want to make it yourself, you can do it in free card. Or you, if you don't want to do even anything, you can just from here, from the inside the Prusa slicer, you can just add the box and you add the dimension that you want here. Like for example, 220. Thing I add, you need to unlock the lock ratios here so that you can put the dimension that you want. And the Z should be the thinnest possible just to, to keep the text in the back. So uh, you should have put only 2 millimeter. So yeah, this is the frame that you can easily make a little frame that I do with free cap. Anyway. So let me put it back in here. Okay, so it's easier for you to see. 125 in the X and 125 in Y. So that right in the middle of the uh, print pad. So now, when you rehab your frame, what you need to do is just add part and we're gonna add an SVG. We can download the skull or the, this, this example, you can put this card in this route. So that is done. That's how you load it. Now it becomes kind of an STL file. So you can do everything you want, like scale it, move it, rotate it to the angle that you want. First of all, I want to rotate it to the right uh, angle. So it's here, 90 degree. And we should go to 1 so that you can look it from the top. Now we need to move it to the proper position. You can move it manually like this. But in my case, I'm seeing I know the coordinate, the center coordinate of the frame. I can put this center coordinate of the skull right and right into that position also. So they're gonna be truly center like in the same point. Uh, so it's 125 and 105. Okay. Wait, let me check. Uh, this one 125, 105. Okay. Anyway, all oh, this different setup. Anyway, 125. Okay, so it's right in the center now. What we need to do is that since this is big, almost cover on the frame, we need to scale it down to fit it inside nicely. Okay, so when before you scale, remember to lock here to lock the ratio so that and they don't scale randomly between X and Y. The Z, we can edit it later, so uh, more or less like this. We can make it a little bit smaller. So good. After you scale it, make sure that you put it to the the uh, floor like this. So it, the height of it is uh, just a little bit higher than the frame. Um, to adjust it properly, you should go to edit SVG. And uh, as I know, my frame is 3 millimeter high, so if I put this 4 millimeter, it should be enough to pop out of the frame, right? So here, I got it done. Now, all we need to do is just slice it. So, after it's almost done, 
After you slice it, um, we want to add different colors to make it easy to see, right? Uh, I have a normal tree printer which is only one color, so I'm gonna add the height change at the color here during of the height of the of the frame. So um, of course, if you have the multicolor printer like Bamboo Lab, can just go with. But here I just go a very simple step here. So in the beginning, okay, for the background I want it to be white, so it's already white there. Right up to here. From here, I want the frame maybe uh, change color, so it's white, and then it's not yellow. We don't want it yellow. I want something like the blue that we see over there. So okay. Oh, uh, I guess we have to cancel this one and maybe another layer. Now we can add the color and change it to cyan. Okay, so we have it here. Nice. So now, after that part is done. We can change, add another color to make it to a different color. I should put black here. Okay. So here it is. Yeah, you done. You can always add hold and thing in it. That um, more and more thing to do. Depend on what how you're gonna hang it or you wanna put it on the table or somewhere. So this is how you can create a simple decoration using the inside features of Pusa Slicer 2.7. Um, uh, just for you to know, instead of uh, making in the flat surface, you can also put in any curved surface. Uh, let me make a quick, quick, quick example for you, okay? So here, let's drag it out here. I'm gonna add another surface. Let's say um, I'm gonna add my other file here, okay? So this is the Hello Kitty that I make for my kids as a, as a biggie bank. You have the gap and the hole under to get the coin out. So let's say if what happened if I put that skull on the back of the, of the cat here, of the kitty, Hello Kitty here. You do the same thing, add part, go to SVG, choose the skull, and when you open it, it's right here. Okay. I just need to rotate it a little bit so it um, fit into the, the, the back of the cap. Okay, so let's say we need to go this way. Yes. Then we need to go this way. Uh, okay, this way. Okay, more or less like this. Then we need to move it a little bit this way. Yeah. We need to scale it down, right? So uh, let's scale it down here. You can scale them together like uh, here I have. This is, uh, okay, let's just make it small. Okay. You see, it's scaled down. We need to move it out a little bit. Yes. And then down. I think it should be fine now, but uh, to be sure, I will just scale it even a little bit more, smaller so that it can fit well, okay? Okay, here. So that we have the scar ready. Now, let's see done. What we need to do is um, right click on the silver star. I guess I make it on here. This one, go to edit SVG. You can change the thickness, and there's an option you need to pay attention in the new surface. When you click on, you tick on this checkbox. What happened is that the SVG file gonna be adapt to the curved surface that you put this on. So. You see what I happen when I click on it. See, see now that the skull instead of pop out, it now stick to the uh, stick to the Hello Kitty. Okay, so you see that is how you can actually create the uh, the SVG is even on the curved surface. I can make it as an example. You can make the moon with some letter and thing on this as your choice. Um, but my general idea is you should make some uh, decoration like you can see here or here. I hope uh, this video is useful for you and for the coming holiday season. If you have any question, you can just ask me right in the uh, comment section and I will try my best to help.
Also, the file will be uploaded there in the description of the video, so you can have it to try. Happy making!